So let's take a look at parsing some JSON out of a string column in a table. So we have a table here. I'm using this table to dynamically drive some creation of some tables. Um, it's got some format information, uh, location, and so forth, compression. So this is just a string column in my table, and I want to parse this out into columns. So let's take a look at how to do this. So the first way to do it here is using something called lateral view. So lateral view paired with this JSON tuple function gives you this horizontal view of your JSON. So the first parameter for JSON tuple is the string column that contains your JSON structure. And you follow that with all the attributes that you want to pull out of your JSON. So that, along with the aliases here, gives you this nifty little horizontal view. So there's another syntax for this, pretty uh, maybe a little simpler. Um, what you can use is this syntax here. This is the name of your string column with your JSON in it, followed by a colon, and then the name of your attribute that you want to pull out of your JSON. Um, this works really well. Both syntax give you the same results as you see here. Um, it's up to you which one you choose. So this works really well, um, you know, as long as there's no arrays. Uh, but what if we had arrays? We wanted to parse out some arrays. Um, so I made a copy of my table and modified the JSON so that the configuration is now an array. Um, so let's take a look at how to do this. So this struct here is the definition of the schema that we've got down here. And uh, this is unfortunately directly copy and pasted from the Databricks website. And you, you get this error here if you try and run it. Just uh, just do a little tweak here. If you see this example or other examples similar to it, just make sure you add a colon in between your attribute and the data type. Uh, by doing that, then you actually can get it to run. Um, so let's take a look at inline versus explode. So explode is uh, frequently used to to bring uh, an array into rows. So now we can see here that we've got, we've used explode, we've used all the other sin, same syntax we had before uh, in the previous example. So now you can see we have our, our rows exploded out, but uh, take a look at what we've got. So this is no longer a string column, it is a column of objects. These objects have properties. Um, unfortunately, we can't leverage that in our, either our lateral view or JSON tuple, uh, we would have to use something like a derived table subquery to, to then uh, do a secondary parsing of that JSON object. So inline is a much easier way to do this because what we can use is we have the inline function and instead of uh, defining just the schema, we do define the schema like we did before and we pass in also these aliases for the structure. So running this gives us a horizontal or inline view of our array. So we can see now we've got all six rows here. Um, and all that's left to do is add in the other columns that we wanted to bring in from our table using our inline function. And that should give us everything we need with the array uh, expanded out to all the rows. So hopefully you found this useful, uh, or if you've run into the, uh, the example on the Databricks website or similar, that uh, that little syntax trick cleared up some confusion. Um, thanks for joining us.